All right, everyone. Cody here. Or, well, Cody's hand, I suppose. <laughs> anyway, in uh, one of my latest videos, I mentioned that I was uh, building a liquid-fueled rocket. I think uh, I just showed my oxidizer that I plan to be using. And uh, this is the wax blank for a rocket that I was designing. See, let's crack it open here. See, there's a combustion chamber in the nozzle. I want to make this a little bit longer, maybe about like that and have the nozzle flare out a little more. You can see the cooling channels where fuel will be flowing through up here to the injector head. But I'm afraid this uh, this project is going to be put off a little bit longer. I was planning on doing it this like this next month but uh, I think instead I'm going to be going on a little smaller scale rocket and I'm actually going to be doing this. See, this is just uh, the copper pipe. This will actually be the rocket. See, unlike this one, which will be, uh, this will be cast in bronze. But uh, this, I, I want to do something a little smaller and uh, make sure that the uh, rocket will work before I spend so much time working on that. So you can see this. It's very simple. You got a combustion chamber, which reduces down to a very simple nozzle. It's uh, probably about halfway between my uh, uh, liquid-fueled rocket using the acid and carbonate and that. So I figure that's a good idea. I will be this will be actually making fire. And uh, well, if it works, then I'll go ahead and go up into this one. But until then, I'm going to be working around with something like this. So let's get to it. There it is. I just welded the body of the uh, engine together with some bronze welding rod. I'll admit this is the first time I've ever tried using the bronze, but it seemed to go well considering. I had to use bronze because uh, brass would uh, deteriorate with the nitric acid. Alright, so here's what I got for the injector. You can see the uh, oxidizer injector there and the fuel one here. It's going to be running a bit fuel heavy, but hopefully uh, more oxidizer comes in than fuel. So you notice the extra holes there. I'm putting them in like this. The holes are facing towards each other. These things go in there. I think that ought to be just fine. And bronze. See that? I think I did better that time, eh? <laughs> so a quick check to make sure these are... Uh, sealed properly. Let's pretend I didn't say sealed. Uh, make sure they're not sealed. <laughs> ah, that's perfect. <laughs> Alright, here it is. I got the fuel tanks on, see? I just used pieces of copper as fuel tanks. I figure if I put this much uh, nitric acid nitric acid in there. That's going to be more than enough for a good test. In fact, the first few tests I may only fill it up to like this full. Anyway, I got up here a couple of valves, or not valves, uh, nipples to input the compressed nitrogen, which will shove the fuel through the engine. And uh, Another feature you can see is one is soldered with the uh, bronze, the other is soldered with lead. That's so I can uh, tell them apart which is the uh, oxidizer and which is the fuel. Okay, so I think uh, I'll get the pressurizer tank, the, the the nitrogen tank, put together, and you know the valve and the hose is hooked up to this. And oh, well, well yes, that is the engine done, but I do have to have the uh, water cooling system set up as well. So, I guess I won't finish before night time, but I'll certainly have this done by tomorrow, probably. Alright, this is what I got done tonight. There it is. The rocket engine is now finished. You can see here, I've got the uh, cooling jacket. I'll be running cold water through this. The water will exit over here. It should spray out a little bit, depending on how much pressure I put through it. Also, you can see here my igniter, which is uh, just a 
piece of uh, nichrome wire going around this stick, which I've got so I can hook up a battery to it. I'll have that in there. And just before I pressurize the fuel tanks, I'll hook this up, or I'll switch this on to a battery, and that wire will get going white hot. Should ignite it pretty quick in there as soon as the fuel hits it. Yep. start making the fuel now. The uh, silicone still has to dry here, but uh, my dad informs me that uh, it's dry and a little bit windy, so there's no way I'm going to be able to fire it up here. I'm going to have to go down to the salt flats or something in order to burn it, which I guess that ain't too big of a deal. I'll just have to bring, a, I'll have to bring my own power source. Alright, here we are. I've came to a abandoned quarry. There's some other people over there shooting rifles. I don't think they'll be much of a problem. Got the repellents here. There's the acid. That's about how much I'm going to use for this test. And I've got the uh, off-road diesel here. I won't use all of this, but uh, you can see they're both red, which is kind of interesting. Alright, so I'm about to load the propellants. Got everything set up. There's my cooling water. The pump's down in there. Everything should be set. Okay. All right, we had some problems, but I'm going to go ahead and try to fire it anyway. All right, well, unfortunately, it appears my acid reacted with the copper pipe, and uh, most of it didn't even go in. Well, it went in, but splashed back out, and then, and then it went in, and it destroyed my igniter, made a big mess. Not sure why it did it. I mean, everything there was stuff that I've tested to be sure that it doesn't react with the acid. But, I guess it decided to react. Oh well. It was a interesting test. The uh, cooling system and everything worked flawlessly. So, I guess I'll just try again sometime. <laughs> 